Sometimes being different feels a lot like being alone. Today, we bring you a story of a woman who was hated by everyone that was close to her because she refused to kill her own son. She is called Francine. She lives here. About 13 years ago, she gave birth to a baby boy. She expected a lot from the baby she had given birth to. She thought the little angel was going to bring a lot of joy in her life. When she was giving birth, it wasn't something easy at all. Because she tried a lot, but failed to push the baby, and it was necessary that the doctors had to use a machine to pull out her baby. She gave birth to a disabled baby, and it was necessary that she should take him to the hospital a couple of times in order to get medication. Upon reaching the hospital, the doctor said that the baby's case was not normal, and they gave her a medical transfer to go to a much bigger hospital, because they said they could not at all handle the baby's condition. They put her baby through different scanners, and they always gave her a lot of different types of medication as they kept transferring her to bigger hospitals. But all that failed because the baby did not get any better. She used to see doctors always using a toothbrush to slowly rub on her son's skin. And she said that was because her son's body was dormant and they wanted to see if he could feel anything. But everything they tried turned out negative. According to her, breastfeeding this baby was impossible because his entire body was paralyzed and he could not pull milk out of her mother's breasts. And all she always did was to try milking herself by squeezing her breasts in order to get milk to give to her baby. But that did not take long since breast milk couldn't come out anymore because his son had never touched her breasts. He is 13 years old, but he has never laughed, and all he does is cry all night and day. He spends little time when he's not crying. At first, his mother took him to the hospital to ask why the little boy was always crying, and they told her that he always cries because his brain was hurting him, since it was also a problem. They told her that his brain was a lot damaged during birth. A few years ago, doctors told her that her son would be fine and he just needed to eat good food and take his medicine as described. But a few months ago, they started telling her to learn to live with her son's condition because he will never be a normal person and he will stay like this for his entire life unless he gets treated by professional doctors abroad. They told her most of the parts of her son's brain, like those that make him talk, touch, laugh, walk, sit and control his body did not work at all. And that is the reason why his son is living in this kind of way. At 13 years of age, her son still acts like a baby because he just cries and it's up to his mother to know what is bothering him because he cannot say that he's feeling hungry or thirsty or even want something, which makes living with him even more difficult. Since she gave birth to this boy, his father has never learned to live with the fact that they gave birth to a disabled child, and all he has ever done ever since was to drink a lot of alcohol, while trying to make himself forget about his child's condition and all the problems they were facing as a family. His father always got bothered by his friends, who always laughed at him while asking him what kind of creature he had given birth to, and this always pissed him off, and he started beating his wife while locking her out of the house for some nights. He hated his home for quite a long period, because he used to go and spend weeks without coming back home, and she remembers a certain time when he spent six months without coming back, or even calling them on the phone. She thought that he did such things not because he hated them. He had fear that he had a disorder and he thought that he would never give birth to a normal child. Those times were so hard according to her 
because she did not have any way to support her son, which always made her feel useless as a mother. What worried her a lot was that her son's condition was not getting any better at all, yet he was growing. This gave her a lot of thoughts that were so much discouraging, since she always had no way through. All those hard days affected her son in a very visible way, because he developed a very big swelling in his chest, which made her mother rush him to the hospital. And upon getting there, she was told that all that had come about due to the poor feeding that the little boy was facing. All the people around her discouraged her, and none of them was ever positive about her son. They said that she gave birth to the devil himself, and other words that were so heartbreaking. She says these are the words that make her husband feel offended, but she ignored them personally. People in her society always bullied her and told her that she belonged to the devil and they also said that she should stop feeding her baby because he was not going to be of any use. The people she called friends and family advised her not to feed her baby and let him die but she could never try such a thing because she loved him regardless. This always made her hurt and she used to lock herself in a room and cry endlessly because there was nothing she could do rather than watching her child suffer. This boy can't chew food and therefore it's his mother's responsibility to grind the food until it becomes so soft. She forces it into her son's mouth and down the throat which hasn't been easy at all because it's so difficult for her son to swallow it. Baram Gragan Goni, Van Goni, Venine, Goni, the Kumoga, Morek Gumana Mumusigit. Her family also told her that she should abandon her child with her husband in the house and run away because she would never manage a life with such people unless she wanted to suffer for the rest of her life. She always prays for her son and she believes that God can heal her and make her a normal person. But it's not only that, because she always used to take him to church for prayers with hope that God will change both their lives. Her and her husband have never talked about their child's condition because her husband was always drunk ever since his eyes landed on this child. She did not have money to take this child for treatment in any way and she always borrowed money from friends and family which helped her to buy some medicine but not all since she couldn't afford to buy all of it. Now, she has a lot of loans from people and she does not have any idea at all about how she is going to ever pay them since she has no job or any source of income in her poor life. Her husband never helped her with anything, not even a single coin, and he always told her to suffer with her child, and that was never his problem, so he never at all cared. Her life is now miserable, and almost everyone she called a close person abandoned her, and she does not know what to do anymore. She promised her son that she would never leave him no matter what, and that's a promise she's always holding on, even though she's going through unbelievable times. All she wishes for right now is just medication for her dying son and nothing else. She therefore calls out anyone that can help her in any way that can save her son. What sets you apart can sometimes feel like a burden. Thank you for watching Afrimax English. This is Prince. Do not forget to subscribe.